Welcome to Friday Fix number 12. This week, we're going for something short and sweet. I'm loaning a page from a very grammar nerdy book I have called Things That Make Us Sick. It's a bad pun. Not sick as in unwell or uncomfortable, but sick without the K. It's an adverb and it means the word before it is spelled wrong intentionally. Sick, S-I-C, is written in brackets to let your reader know. You are aware of the mistake. You can, for example, find sick in newspaper articles. If someone has provided a written statement and has made a spelling error, the newspaper needs to copy exactly what they wrote. So they use sick. I always thought it was an abbreviation for spelling is correct as in, not actually correct, but copied correctly from somewhere where there was a mistake. It turns out, sick is a Latin word that's part of a longer phrase, meaning, it was written that way. Or like, hey, leave me alone. It was like that when I found it. I've put a link in the description to some humorous interpretations for anyone who would like a little extra challenge. Anyway, page 36 things that make us sick. On this page, you can find three things that trip up native speakers just as much as other English language learners. Number one, than and then. Depending on your accent, these two words might not sound very different. But the spelling and meaning are definitely not the same. Than with the A is used when you're comparing two things. It usually comes after an adjective or an adverb. At this time of year, every day is four minutes longer than the one before. Then, with an E, tells us about a specific point in time. Either in the future, I'll see you then, or in the past. When I was a kid, the internet was via modem. So if you were online, you couldn't use the telephone back then. Number two, there, there, there. There with an apostrophe is a contraction. Two words smooshed together with letters removed. They are becomes there. As in, they're not from around here. There, with E-R-E, is the most versatile of the three. It indicates a place. My bike is over there. There, E-R-E, can also be used as a dummy subject. There are normally 900 students at my school, but today there were only about nine. There, with E-I-R, is a possessive adjective that tells you who something belongs to. I think their house is this way. Number three, two, two, two. Two, with two letters, T-O, is used in many different ways. Perhaps too many. I think I'll take that one up in video number 13 because I promise not to talk too much today. To, T-O, is quite often a preposition. Among other things, it tells you which way something is going. This present is from me to you. Or, it's Friday, but I'm tired, so I'm going straight to bed. This same to is also used for infinitives. It's fun to make videos, but I don't like to hear the recording of my voice. To... Two O's, three letters in all, means also or too much. It's fun finding silly pictures too. But sometimes the jokes get a little too cheesy. Two with the W means a pair, one, two. This video will be finished in two seconds. Okay, okay, not quite, but we're close. The last thing I wanted to say is, there are eight words in all. Try writing a sentence using each one of them. They're going to be challenging at first, 
But if you put your mind to it, then you will figure them all out. Be safe out there. Happy Friday.